nitaweza kuangazia mambo fulani ambaye nimeona ni mambo nyeti yani is a problem we have in Kenya I want to talk about it I think all of us we are agreeing that we need to fight the corruption all of us that have been the song like a chorus of the Bible all the time corruption 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 which we are all singing about it ile imeleta nchi yetu chini kabisa we are in the problem because of the corruption and our president is singing like a chorus every day and i can say i know he is serious because i have seen the way he has blocked some loopholes of the corruption he has fought with the corruption and i can promise he is fighting with the corruption day and night but i want to ask are we serious Kenyans about the corruption? I'm asking Kenya, are we serious? Because this is not about the president himself alone. No. This is not about the Kenya Kwanzaa to fight with the corruption alone. This is not about the Azimio, it's Kenyans. It's not even Azimio, it's Kenyans. We are suffering for the money which has been looted in this country. Where we are, Kenya will not be there today. But we are brought down by the corruption completely. And I want to mention some things which I have seen is a big problem. We Kenyans, we are not ready for corruption, to fight the corruption. Because if I'm seeing if anybody is arrested, for example, like the governor of Kakamega, Apalanya, the opposition which is where they are cheating people, they are fighting with the corruption and they won't change this country. They have proved to this country they are not ready for the corrupt, fighting for the corruption. They are the most corrupt people. That's why even they are corrupting politically. That's why they are making noise, but they have no any alternative of fighting with the corruption or leading this country. Why am I saying this? If a Paranya is arrested and he wants to be arrested because of the corruption, all the leaders of Asimio, for us who are calling themselves to be mother can do as I don't know who, that's where they are going when he has been interviewed or been checked to provide some of the issues which anti corruption want to know. They all make line and look for the supporters to go there to defend corruption all to support the corruption. Bring the issue of politics. Hey, I don't know. He's been followed because of politics. There's nothing like that. I would say that anti-corruption, they know and they have all the details and the document and everything to charge the former governor. And if he's charged, that's not the end. There's court where you can go and defend. But now, the issue of saying I don't know is for which year. It doesn't matter corruption of 50 years, 20 years is corruption. Our organization of corruption department, they have so many things they are dealing with. So if it takes time before they implement, they get the proper structure and information to make sure that they can succeed in the court. It takes time. So don't talk about that. It, I, I was a minister. I don't know, I was a governor. There's nothing happened. Yeah? Don't talk about that. And I saw some of the lawyers who look like poachers. Their work is only where there's corruption and where they can go and get money because they, have no, they, they know there's money there. Mutu wa kishikuwa na mabu ya kuhusa madawa. Ile inauwa watoto yetu. Eh? The two lawyers who Kenyans know, they are just like poachers. That's where they will learn because they know there's money. It's not about defending Madaya Kulevia. It's not about defending the corruption of this country. It is how they can have something on their own stomach. And I've been saying this all throughout. Being, me being a member, of, 
I was the member of the parliament in Bahati. If there is anything wrong, and I'm telling the people of Bahati, and by now, I mean a corruption, let me carry my cross. I was not stealing for you, I was stealing for myself. The people of opposition, Azimio, the people of Kakamega, Aparanya was not stealing for you, he was stealing for himself. And the women, Wale Akonai. All these documents are there. Why don't you give it time if you are actually want to fight with the corruption and say you are one of us, Aparanya, but let's give time. The system, the procedure must be followed. And you know the procedure of everything must be followed. But when now you are demonstrating going there to say no, 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 no. Mambo ya kupinga na with anything in the kuja kupinga, 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 kupinga. It's not going to help you. I want to tell Kenya, you have no alternative government at all. Because they are the least, they are the most corrupt. That's what I will tell you. Just check them. Kila pahali wana kimbia, ni kama insi inapenda pahali na nuka. Pahali yiko munuko ya wizi ya corruption. Ya makanisa hile na uwa watu. Ya hile watu wanauza wadawa ya kulevia ya kuwa atoto etu. Hawa ni kama insi kukimbia pahali kama hapo. So, mpango ya kusafisha inchi hii yetu na kumalisa corruption, it will be when? I support my president. Not because of anything. Not because I, I, I come from the same region or I, maybe I come with, from uh, Kenya Kwanza or UDA. But I have seen he is serious. Serious and committed to fight corruption. Let me tell you. You may be like Toma. You Kenyans, you might be like that. But I want to tell you this Kenya is changing. The country is changing. If you see Kamu Ali, ni wakatikando miandika walimu, 56 or 53,000 teachers, it has never happened. Ni wakatikando the same time, to miongeza askari pesa. Policy. GSU. Call them. AP. Even if it's small, they have been added something. You look at the employment which the president have created. Housing. People are just talking about the housing. But they don't think. The president he is creating employment of young people. He is making sure that our local materials can work here. Like he is saying in the timber. What one can be a cotton? Hey, Mr. Taribua, Mr. Taribua. These are thick people in the brain. Have you assessed in Amujua in a meeting in Arabica Komusitu Nigaki? Actually, almost half of the trees. Itakuwa na vita kubwa kwa somilas. Wakiusua kwa hile bewa tauziwa nae. Ikipasuliwa, imeo sandani. Kwa sababu imeo pa guru. Anything ikiena kupanya wa present, kotini. Budget, kotini. Anything will be done, continue. Kila kitu wa kikimbia ni continue. Sasa, the system of collection of the money ila ikuwa ikibiwa Kenya. Wakati imeekwa kwa structures ambaye, itakuwa ikienda direct to the government, wako continue. Why? Because they are thieves. Why don't you say, okay, the president want to see what you are doing. You are saying we collect this money. Is this money going in the right place? That should be the question of the president. You should ask him. And you should wait and see whether they will be stealing money. And let tell you, tell you, the president has no friendship in the, with anybody. Other even if they are personal friends. Atapa gundua, atakapa gundua, niwezi, atawanika. Because he has decided to change this country. And the president is going to change the country. God has praised like Mombasa even the other. Things are changing now. Economic is starting coming up. And he is not going to borrow, that's why I'm supporting you. We are going to work with the money who have been making billions of money in this country. For corruption, for wizi ya kila njia, wa mejifanya billionaire in this country. Hiyo pesa, amesema kama vile kebaki alisema, we can do correction na tujitegeme. Kebaki left very pesa kidogo sana, about 1.8 trillion. Yet to Kwana Deni Nai. Sasa took almost ten something trillion. Why? Because we bring money, borrowing money from outside, 
Stealing ikifika kwanza inaibiwa 10%. Inafishwa Ulaya ikirudi kufika hapa na wengine ni pesa yao wamepeleka huko wanarudi kukopea sisi kama serikali. Local borrowing bank zote mwacha kukopea watu pesa imeenda kupeleka pesa kwa treasury bill until this country has gone down. But let me tell you there is change. And I have a dream that our president is changing this country. And myself, I'm seeing it. Na wewe mwanainchi, usitungwe hakili yako. Tumia hakili yako. Wewe mwanainchi ni onadia kila siku. Mambo ya corruption. I'm talking to you the common, mwana, common person. Munalia, corruption, corruption. Pesa yetu inaibiwa, pesa yetu naenda wapi. Wakati na regazo wa structure ya pesa isibiwe, munakuja kuletoa mambo, munaasa kufuata kitu wa mjui. Don't sing the song which you don't know how to sing. Courage. Asimio. They are probably there are this. Ninini wanafuata. Mutu kama ameiba. Chepipe mziko yake. And corruption cannot come to you if there is not a crew. And you prove yourself. Utashikwa. Itaangaliwa mzuri document. Na kama unachida. Utawachiriwa. But we should not be demonstrating to the people who have stolen. And I'm asking Kenya, they do not steal for you. Aparanya alibia bibizake, alibia watoto yake, alibia familia yake, na ye mwenyewe, hakuibia watu ya western, hiyo pesa aliba. Now I'm saying, we give opportunity, system, to ipe na pasi, ya kuweza kuchungusa mambo ya corruption. Ipelekuwe mbaka ipike mwisho. Kila kitu. Abazeda wa Amerika akiongea, leza ndiyo hiyo. Anaaza kuataki. Kutukana yeye. Kufanya nini. Hajui watoto wetu wala wako Amerika. Kwa hana ikarensi. Wana yetu pesa ngapi ya bako yetu. He doesn't know. He doesn't want to know. Let's support the president. I'm talking about the president. Ruto. Let's support him. One year. The structures hili ya meweka. And it's only one year. It's unbelievable. Sabu nilera tunasema, ni kama hamefanya mwakatano kwa wani ya. Na hakimaisa mwakatano. Everybody will be looking for the president to vote for him coming next election. Because atakuwa mebadilisha maisha ya watu. Atakuwa mebadilisha kufunga mambo ya wizi. I will not have enough time to tell you what he is doing because I have eyes to see. Hii mambo imewekwa, mambo ya kuokota pesa, mambo ya KRA, mambo ya nini. He eh? is so updated. Na hii mambo yote itabadilika, ya itakuwa majuli. And I'm telling you, opposition is unfortunate. Ni haibu kubwa sana. Umejimaliza nyingi wenyewe. Vile mungu walisema, in the Bible, ataesa pindua mdomo yako, ujimaliza na yewe mwenyewe. Bila kunguzwa na mutu. Hame pindua mdomo, ya upinzani, ya azimio, wa azimia kabisa na wajiweza kudimaliza. Na wana inji nauliza Kenya, just watch with your eyes. Si muangalie, muwane nyiwe nye. How do watu tesa kuwa tani tupia kwa mene? Baka wanapewa viti ya upinzani hawataki because they want to, wanataka kupanda corruption ndani. Na mina mati, na chakaa mutu kama mada. He is a lawyer. He ndo ikuwa napika na wakati ya kebake na nini mambo ya corruption. Na sasa unaimba uibo mungini. Ni nini hii muna peyago mukiena kwa azimio? Mukiena kwa nina iti udini? What is which? Ni nini muna peyago? Muna aza kukosa kujijua? Muna aza kukosa kuzunguza? Muna aza kuzunguza mambo wa eleweki? In fact, if there is a law to be used, what wa pimwe wale, they are not normal because of their action. And the way they are moving and they are working and they are what? Kenyans will need to take so many people in the hospital because I think there's a big problem in this country. Wait one year. Tukikonga mwaka ya pili, hii inji pia, itakuwa imeenda sama. Chakula. Niaza kuhudi chini. Mambo ya family, niaza kuhudi chini. Within two, three months, mutaona dollar itaaza kutelemuka. And I'm telling you, it's going to come down. Many things are changing in this country. Tumeaza kufuna. Tumeaza kupanda tena ya short lane. Pataiza tunaye. President asimami. Usiku na mchana. 
What about if you can join all of us together and understand what he is doing? He was in Mombasa County. He has gone now. I am a Kilipi. I am in Milima. I am in Rift Valley. In Nakuru County. Now I am other other areas to Mombe. I is where to. Because I believe that Anafanya is not for his family. Anafanya kazi. Anafanya na tuusu. Since what in this country? And I believe things are going to change. And many things to naomba. Imambo ya boda review na nini? Wa asisunguzwa na watu akosa kutengesea boda review. Imepita wakati yake. It's more than 20 years. We need boda review. We need fairness. Ile lila alikuwa naimba ati mukata igawani kwa njia haki. He is not talking that now. Anaongea mambo ya ukiti yake na mambo ya incitement. We need Kenyans kila mtu apate haki yake. One man, one vote, one shilling. Ili usawa ipatikane. Tuweza kuona kila mtu akipika kura yake, ana haki na shilingi yake. Ana haki na kura yake. Those things we must work on it. And our present, we give you support for what you are doing. Na tunakuombea kwa haki yako na kwa safari zako zote ambayo umefanya. You did international, now you are local. Then go outside again, look for the funding, look for mambo yale ya tatusaidia in a good price. Bida kukopa pesa, ukue kama kibaki. Na unafuata, utalatibu ya kibaki. Na utavuja rekodi ya kibaki minaona. Because kibaki alisumburua sana na alikuwa mgonjwa. And he still made it. Wewe kwa sabu wewe ni kijana na mungu wa mekusaidia. Kuwa na mafikirio na you are not sick. I know you are going to the musha hii. Kila kitu yote hii chini mbaka, tutakuwa tukisimamia kwa budget yetu bila kuomba pesa inja. Na tutapata pesa investment on the ground. You have done a record. And believe me, you may pay accountants pesa. Now, they, what are they going to talk about? They're not going to talk about anything else. They can now invest. But I want to talk Kenyans. And I have a dream of this. If and corruption works well, out of 47 governors, maybe three or seven, who will not go in jail. Like, like uh, other country. Many people. Nigeria. When it was started, county government, almost all they were taken in the court. We know, and we are talking about that. And we know with the eyes. Well, we shall go to the Muragan. Umenua Manumba, Umejanga Nini, Umenua Maestri, Ata Okibisha and the family Ako, and Wato Tayako. He is a Kali and corruption. Itagundua. Ata Okibanya Nini. Don't hide money with your children. The Bibizako and Awaka, Unaka Hoka Shida. You'll be arranged in the court. With all your children and your wife and everybody, you'll be there in the court. And I'm telling you, and, and the land counties by counties, the Oiwe Fuso Koma governors were in for the money they have been given all. Check out my hotel, the Nunuan in the Mashama Najina at Wengine, and corruption was in Fata Mzuri. Hakuna Shiringi is there as a Kutoka Kwa County, Ipote. They cause a Kuwa Nanjia. Narayo and Ajua. What happened? You cannot buy a loan. As my own a broker, as my own a wakili, as my own a sera. So, I can't pass the education Kenya today. Come on, we are busy. So, let's be straight and work very hard and change this country. We've been three, two years into the Badilika. Now, I'm going to Kenya. We to me a picking a zenu who are focused na kuangalia. I can use it to me, Mambo, I can be on a siasa. Hata mile ni meongea, wewe chunga uwana kama ni ya ukweli ama siya ukweli. Uweza kujisomea wewe mwenyewe. Ani uwane. I'm very bitter. Kuzikia watu wanaanza kukimbiza na mtu ambaye ameiba ama ameipreko kwa corruption. We are not judging ameiba. Lakini the system, itamufanya nini na atenda kotini. Why can't we say kama umeiba, hata kama ulikuwa moja yetu, enda kotini. Ni wangapi tumiona kwa silikali hii ya, ya, ya nini ya Kenya kwanza. Serikali ya Ruto, wakienda kotini. Wana, wa serikali, wakishiku, wanaenda kotini. Yes. Ruto is standing with the corruption. Kupigana nae kabisa. I'm going to you, Kenya. Let's be careful. Kenya kwanza. Let's be careful. UDA. Kwa sababu sahi tunazunguza mambo ya, maserika, ya serikali zingine. Ile ilikuwa yako mbeleni. Hata si tunaweza kuzungumuzua hiyo tukifika. If you are not going to perform.
tutazungumzia uzuri yetu ama wizi yetu ama kuharibu think about yourself neither ukiwa MCA ukiwa MP ukiwa senator ukiwa governor take care record yako itatafuziliwa kwa njia gani kama umekuwa mjumbe constituent yako saa hii inasema nini wale walienda wengine walienda kwa njia ambaye hazijulikani pengine kulikuwa na ukora fulani but the reality on the ground you be accounted by the Kenyans ni nini uliwacha umewafanyia kwa ile miaka umewafanyia ukiwa mjumbe ukiwa MCA ukiwa gavana rekodi yako itakuwa ni kuiba na wale wameiba sasa wako tayari tena kurudi kwa serikali but i beg my president please because you are fighting with the corruption don't bring people back in the government wale wameiba kwa hiyo serikali zingine don't bring them in the government kwa sababu they are spoiling our record don't tufanye kazi hata kama ni kusamea sameo ama waachie anti corruption but please the people who have stolen wazikuja kuhubiri wanakenya wanaangalia namna hii akiwa kwa pope pale akihubiri <laughs> wanasema okay wale ndio tunaambiwa eh wale walifanya hii wale walinunua hii wale walijenga kama hoteli hii wale walifanya hii ndio tunaambiwa wale walipa pesa za barabara ndio tunaambiwa sasa ndio wako pale wanahubiri Kenya has been not listen at them my president you are clean walk walk gently because you are changing this country and we are supporting you thank you so much Kenyans nimewaachia mjifikirie mjifikirie mjichunga muone na macho yenu na fikira zenu usikue mtu akuambiwa you are brave una macho ya kuona na una mdomo ya kusema corruption ni mbaya god bless kenya and god bless the fight of the people who are supporting ile watu wanaiba kwa nchi yetu ya kenya thank you so much